In this deep dive video, we're going to take a look at using the Quick Match and the Quick Doubler plugins from the Audio Suite menu when working with Pro Tools and Revoice Pro 5. Let's dive in. So I have a track selected over here. Let's have a quick listen to the audio. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now, can we pretend? Let's say I wanted to generate a double and I wanted to do it very quickly and bring it instantly back into my Pro Tools session. We can do this with the Quick Doubler plugin. I'm going to head over to the Audio Suite menu. I'm going to click the S key to navigate to the Synchro Arts menu. And if we scroll across, notice that in addition to Revoice Pro Link, which we've covered in another video, we also have Quick Doubler and Quick Match. Let's navigate to the Quick Doubler plugin and let's bring this up. Now, if you notice over here, we have the ability to navigate to a preset. So in this case, I'm going to go with Vocal Moderate, which is a really nice stereo doubler preset. And then we can select the audio in track and we can capture this. And what's happening is Revoice Pro is automatically generating a doubler. So if we click Show Revoice Pro, we have a listen. I know it won't be happy in the end. Notice that that has automatically generated and rendered out a doubler process, which we can then instantly bring back into Pro Tools. Now, if we wanted to make any changes, we could. So for example, if I wanted to tweak any of these parameters, I can open up the preset and make any adjustments. But if you happen to know the exact presets that you like to work with, we can choose this directly from within the Audio Suite menu. So now from within Pro Tools, I'm going to add a stereo audio track, and we can simply call this Vocal Double. We will create this, and now with this track selected, I can just render my double. And now we've instantly created a doubler process using the Quick Doubler plugin. Let's have a quick listen to the two of those together. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now, can we pretend? In this next example, let's take a look at using the Quick Match plugin. So I'm going to head over to Audio Suite and let's navigate over to Synchro Arts. And this time we're going to call up the Quick Match. Now, in this case, we just need to make sure that we choose an appropriate preset. So I'm going to navigate to factory presets. And in this case, let's choose tight timing plus pitch and we'll match all notes. I'm going to make sure that I have the appropriate guide selected. So in this case, if we take a quick listen, we have a female lead vocal. I know it won't be happy in the end. Let's capture this as the guide. And then if we navigate to the male lead vocal track, and we can have a really quick listen to this as well. I know it won't be happy in the end. If we capture this as a dub, this match process will be automatically created according to the settings of this preset. Now we can hop over to Revoice Pro and let's have a quick listen to the results. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now, can we pretend? Okay, so pretty awesome. And if we take a listen to the original, I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just... If I want to make any changes to this, maybe I want to back off the pitch just a bit, but I want to keep the timing super tight. Let's have a quick listen to that. I know it won't be happy in the end. Perfect. Now, the minute I'm ready to spot this back into Pro Tools, I'm just going to head over to the track and create a new playlist so I have my original on a backup layer if I need it. And then quite simply, we can render our aligned output. And then let's have a listen to all three of these together in context with the instrumental. I know it won't be happy in the end. So maybe just for now, can we pretend? I know it won't be happy in the end. But maybe just for now, can we pretend? So that's using the Quick Doubler and the Quick Match plugins from within Pro Tools. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll catch you for more in the next video. Cheers.